Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this morning, it's all about Marguerite Miller's Collage Weekly Planner. This is week 10. We finally hit double digits. Um, they have been fun, and I want to thank everybody for joining in. I want to thank all my new subscribers, and I want to thank all my returning viewers. Um, you mean the world to me, so I appreciate all your comments, and I'm, I'm really glad that you're enjoying these collages. So this week, in week 10, uh, something related to a sport, a gate or fence, a line of poetry or a song, numbers, an old sticky note, which I'm not going to be using. I'm going to trade it out for something that starts with the letter C. So I think this is going to be another fun one. I really enjoyed finding all of the little images to go with this. So... <clears throat> Um, I'm going to start, obviously, with my background first and work forward. So that means I'll be working with my numbers. So this is a sheet of numbers, and um, it goes from 21 to 16. It, it goes way back further than that. And these are statistics. These are tennis statistics. Um, that's a tongue twister. Tennis statistics. Try to say that one. Um, so this is going to be my background because I am a huge, I'm a huge tennis fan. And then um, in the foreground, this is my, this is my fence. Um, I couldn't find a gate, but I'm using a nice summery style fence here with a couple chairs that looks very inviting. So I think we can get, I think I can get this glued down. Um, I'm going to try to use a little bit of my glue stick, which gives me a hard time every time. I'm not a big glue stick fan. This I think I can, this I think I can put down and I think we can move these down a little bit okay so I just kind of want to just kind of want to get that in place so I have been checking out others um, collage work for Marguerite Miller and there's some really fun stuff out there and the other thing I've decided to do um, which you might find kind of odd, but um, I love looking at other people's videos, um, just in general. I think it's just, a, you know, as a creator, it's a fun way to see what other people are doing. But what I'm finding with myself, and not everybody, is the minute I... I say, oh, I want to, I want to make this, or I've made these in the past, or I used to make these for my Etsy shop, or, you know, I used to do this or that. Um, I would get all my, my material together, and I would watch some other gals' videos, and they had just finished, you know, creating that or whatever, and I thought, oh dear, they're going to, I don't want them to think that I'm copying them. So I think I'm going to watch videos once a week of some other creators. Liz, I'm going to be watching yours whenever your, yours comes out. And the same with whoever, whoever, um, whoever I'm really, really close with. Um, but I think for me, just best. I don't. I don't get. I don't get discouraged that way. Um, not that I get discouraged, but um, far from that. But I guess I just didn't really know. I don't know how to describe it. So we have our numbers, and we have our fence. So the next thing. Um, I need to layer up on here is something related to a sport. 
So if you can see here, we've got the Australian Open. I've already talked about tennis. This is Bris, you know, for Brisbane. Um, I'm going to collage with my all-time favorite. I have two favorites in the tennis world. One is Roger Federer, and the other is uh, Nadal, Rafa Nadal. So I found this picture of Raj um, in one of my magazines, and he is going to be hanging out right over the fence here. And I think I'm going to cut this little bit off here. I didn't know if I was going to use him on the end, and I may need that, but I don't need that. And I want to bring him down right here over the fence here. And I think I'm going to just have to trim a little bit of this light colored off. And I just, I just adore Roger Federer. Um, I think he is probably the greatest, um, I'm going to call him an ambassador for the sport of tennis because I've never seen anyone keep his cool for so many years on the tennis court. I mean, he, he's a champion in more ways than one. Um, between his schools that he has funded and run. Um, he's just such a good ambassador for the sport of tennis. And I just think he's, he's an amazing human being. All right, so there is our fence. And we've got Raj here hanging out on his back patio. And I'm going to, let's see, I don't think there's anything else that I need to put down and around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my fence down. I guess this is a good lesson, too, on as far as collaging, you know, working from back to front and the layers, your layers, and what goes down first and all right so here is our fence and then I think I'm going to get my buddy Raj um, and I kind of have to center him I think we'll be okay there and you're probably wondering what he's what he's going to be holding in his hand because he's so um, kind and caring, I really think he's a very kind and caring person. Everybody wants to be around him. And um, so I have, I'm just going to take a little bit more off of in between his fingers here. Okay, so Raj is going to be there. This one didn't come off. Sorry about that. There, okay. Um, that even our fine feathered friends want to hang around Raj. So we have this sweet little bird here. And we're going to put him, I think this is the one that's going to come here. Or is he hanging? He's hanging on to this here. And then we have this bird who is sitting on the on the fence top here. And Roger is also holding on to him. So he's holding on to him there. This is why I don't like using um, 
glue stick because my paper curls when I okay put this down over here too um so we have two very fine feathered friends who want to hang out with Roger so we are going to get this section here um, glued down and then we can kind of work from there so I think I will glue Roger's part of his body down here so he doesn't move all around and then I can do the details after okay, we'll put him right here like this okay and then we have we have this bird here And I'll tell you how this came to be. Um, let's see, how do I? I guess I will do it like this. That he's kind of holding on to it like that. This came to be from one photo when I was looking through my magazines. And then I had to sit back and digest it. Okay, so we have this bird. Um, these bird, my, my, it says here, um, something that starts with the letter C. Um, these birds are canaries. So that is my C word there. But I do have a little stamp I want to add because... I think it's appropriate as well. So here we have Roger holding on to this stick here. So he has the two birds that he is, this bird he's gazing at, and I'm sure he's wondering. Um, so this is the image that I found in my magazine and I thought, okay, well, something that is related to a sport, that's where I saw the tennis, you know, I thought of tennis and then I said, well, um, what, am, how am I going to, how am I going to, uh, build a kitchen around that? And I say that because if you've ever seen the Kohler I always refer to the Kohler faucet um, commercials where for many years Kohler faucet had, um, I don't know if it was in their magazines or on TV, but they would show a really high-end um, faucet and they would say, build me a kitchen around this faucet. So I guess I'm building a collage around this around this tennis bag. So Roger happens to carry a red, I believe he carries a red tennis um, bag as well. So he's got this slung over his shoulder. He's headed to the, he's headed to one of his matches to win, win another championship. So we're going to put that there. And I think I can put a little dab of glue here and get that set. Right about there like that. So we have this, we have that there. 
and then we have, I might have been able to put that down a little bit further, but let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go a little bit further with that. Okay, so there is his bag. And then the next thing we have, now Roger always plays um, at Wimbledon. I mean, he plays all over the world, but the big, the three big matches are Wimbledon, the U.S. Open, and the Australian Open. And of course, Roger is retired now. He's no longer playing, which is very sad for all of us tennis fans. So this is the trophy. This is the trophy that's handed out um, at Wimbledon. So we are going to put, because I wanted to have representation of all of the places that he um, has played and won. So this represents Wimbledon. And I think we're going to put that, I think we'll put that right about here between the two chairs. And then we have the tennis balls that actually came with this advertisement. So the tennis balls, you know where they're going to go. They will be going right inside the trophy here. And the last one here. Okay. So there are the, those are the three tennis balls that represent each um, Wimbledon, U.S. Open, and the Australian, Australian Open. So there's his trophy which I'm sure he has many, probably has a whole room. He has a trophy room. Um, so now that we have Wimbledon represented, uh, I wanted to use the Statue of Liberty for the U.S. Open. Um, so she is going to go right, right behind here. She is going to be She is going to be peeking out in all her glory. So we've got Lady Liberty right there. So we're going to at least get her arm down because I'm still tucking. Okay, so there's Lady Liberty. Isn't she beautiful? there. And then for the Australian Open, we have an all-time great, um, we have Rod Laver, who Roger really looks up to him. Um, and we're going to put Rod, we're going to put Rod right, right around here, because I'm sure that Rod has been in Roger's brain more than once while he's been on the court playing, especially at, in Australia. I'd love to know who, who out there are tennis fans. Um, I just love it when, you know, any of these come on, everything stops. And my husband and I sit and watch. Um, we've been able to go a few times to the U.S. Open, which was just wonderful. Um, I got some beautiful pictures of Djokovic in the 
in the commentary booth and Chrissy Everett and John McEnroe. Um, I just love it. And if you've never been to the U.S. Open in Flushing Meadows, it's a magnificent property. Um, it's just so pretty. And there's just to walk the grounds. And they have all the statues there of all the great ones. And um, it's just full of life and so exciting. Okay. So I think we have our all of our items related to a sport, which I chose tennis. Look at Raj. He's such a... He's such a cutie pie. Um, okay, so now the other thing is a song or a line of poetry. So I am going to take a quick break because I have individual um, words. I'm going to get them down and then we'll be right back. There, so I have the saying down. You can see why I, I took a little break um, because I had to ink each one up. Um, but in the great words of Tina Turner, and this uh, this came to my mind immediately when you're thinking about when I'm thinking about Roger, um, you're simply the best, better than all the rest. So that's is the that is the line, the song line that I'm using for this collage. And um, I'm gonna do another that starts with a letter C because, Roger is a great, um, he's partnered with uh, Lint Chocolate. So I have to put this in here because we all know that chocolate is good for you. So that is my, I have the, the canary. So let's go through this. Uh, we have something related to a sport, which is tennis. It's the overall um, Roger Federer theme. Um, and then we have the, the trophy from Wimbledon. And then we have where the U.S. Open is played in New York. And then we have Rod Laver here representing Australia. We have Roger's um, tennis bag. And then we have our line of uh, our gate or our fence. We have our fence here um, that Red, Roger's hanging out on with his birds, his canaries that start with a C. And then we have the chocolate. And then we have our line of poetry or song, which is you're simply the best, better than all the rest. And then um, our numbers, which is the stats, some of the stats from Roger's progress over the years. I should, I should, there's nothing to progress with him. He's just the best. There's, there's no, he doesn't have to hone in on any of his skills. So, um, yeah, so that is it. I really like this week. I think just because I got to spend a little bit of time with Roger Federer and, of course, all my viewers. So if you like this video, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up. I think it's another fun one, kind of thinking out of the box a little bit. Um, yeah, and next week is week 11, and it will be a cold-blooded animal, something you see or do on vacation, a bit of yellow, a map, sheet music, and the bonus is a star. So I better get thinking about that one. So... That's it, my friends. Um, that's all I've got for you today. Again, I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you down the road. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.